All of us as Muslims know the story of Isa speaking from his mother's cradle, from the hands of his mother. Most of us Muslims in this audience are not aware that this story is simply not found in the New Testament. It's not found. None of the Gospels of Matthew or Mark or Luke, none of them have it. Also, all of us as Muslims know that the Quran mentions in three occasions the story of Isa and the birds blowing into it and they becoming real birds. Again, you will be surprised as Muslims to know that this story is simply not mentioned in the canonical Christian Gospels. It's not found. And for the longest times, Christians would ridicule. Look at these Muslims, they have these weird and bizarre stories. Around 150 years ago, in Egypt, a interesting monastery was discovered in the desert. And in it, there was the body of a monk from the 4th century CE. 4th century CE. And the body of this monk belonged to a sect of Christianity that was lost, it's gone. In the coffin, there were scrolls, multiple scrolls. And this, these scrolls contained gospels that are beyond the four canonical gospels. Now, you should know that Constantine and others in 325 CE, they basically got rid of all of the other gospels. There were lots of gospels. And Constantine ordered these four to be chosen and that these four became the canonical, all the rest were destroyed. And to this day, most of them are destroyed. Once in a while, we come across something from the ancient times. This was one of the most significant discoveries. One of these Gospels was the Gospel of St. Thomas. And it is now available on Amazon. You can Google the Gospel of St. Thomas. It was one of the lost Gospels. And in the Gospel of St. Thomas, we have both of these stories. The story of Jesus speaking as a baby and the story of the birds being becoming real birds. And it is amazing that for literally 13 centuries, these stories were not known to any Christian community. Any. They're only found in the Quran. And yet, and this is not, I'm giving you a concrete example. Look it up. Go look, buy the book, the, the, the Gospel of St. Thomas. Purchase it, read it for yourself. And you find these two stories are not found in the actual canonical Gospels. And yet they are found in the Gospel of St. Thomas. And this is clearly a miracle of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And as Allah says in the Quran, you were not there, you didn't know it, your people did not know it, but Allah gave you this wahid.